Whether there's a silver lining to disasters uh, is an open environmental law question. So some have said that the, a, a silver lining of the horrible uh, Bhopal Union Carbide disaster was that we got the toxic release inventories law. The, a silver lining of the Moscow heat wave in the summer of 2010 is uh, we won't be fooled again. People in Moscow will now buy air conditioners now that they are aware that uh, that climate, that the probability of extreme heat days, even at northern Moscow, is higher than it used to be. They were caught unaware and unprepared, and, and thousands died. I predict that in the next heat wave, many fewer people will die because it, as a silver lining of this disaster. Now, do we always have to suffer such short-run costs, or can we ever plan ahead? Here, I think it's a question of whether we trust our climate scientists. If we trust climate scientists, in their frontier research, and we believe their forecasts, then, then we won't be the show-me state. We don't have to suffer the shock before we change our behavior. In my view of men and women, we, we seek out trustworthy information. We form our best forecast of the future, and if the probability of ugly scenarios are there, like a flooding of a coastal city, we take pre preemptive action now, even though the disaster hasn't occurred. So a crucial issue is, what if climate change is raising the probability of disasters, and if that's the underlying truth, do we have to suffer a disaster to be aware of this, or can we get a leading indicator from climate scientists? If the latter story is true, then we don't have to suffer these horrible shocks to change our game. And so a key issue is for climate scientists to keep doing great work and to disseminate their information to the public and to insurance markets, and this will change and help us to adapt 